Um, Steve, I see you're in there. Can you do me a favor? Um, go start the game. Not Steve. Hang on one second. Can you start the game so we can get the sa the sounds? All right, Steve. Can you confirm for me that you can hear the game and you can hear me talking, please? Or just hit a one if you can hear everything. I think. Yeah. All right. So we're good. All the right. problem was OBS. It, it disabled the audio set. All right, it looks like on this end we are finally good. Uh, thank you for your patience, for those of you that have hung around. Um, if not, welcome to our stream. We're going to go ahead. Everybody's been waiting to get in. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, you can hit skip. Which volume? This is your wake up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Your free spa weekend was a lie, luring you into this deadly trivia game. Only one of you will survive. Also, someone took a number two in the pool, and I am not happy about having to clean that up. Alright, first question. What is the Pope's little hat called? Not the big one, the little one. Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you... It's time. Welcome to room 113. The hairdryer's broken, sorry. I hope you like gifts. Oh boy, the gifts. I need to thin out these terrifying family heirlooms a bit. Pick a box and keep what's inside. Ah, memories. They're the worst. So everybody pick a box. Oh. <laughs> ah, it's my Grandma Despair's knife. Looks like you're bringing a knife to a trivia fight. Anyway, now you have to use that knife to cut one of your fingers off. Maybe I wasn't clear. Ah! Graham Graham would have been so proud of you. <laughs> this I guess it could be grandfather's hat. Regardless of whether your score is. <laughs> Our dad's hat. I can't remember what it was called. All right. Let's keep Next moving. turn. Which musical features Nicely Nicely Johnson? Oh my god, I have no idea. What is this? Um... I no idea. Who picked this? Oh, that was a lucky guess. Wow, I got the it right. The rest of you, follow me. Welcome to room 237. Ah, the old skewers trick. Pick a space inside the box to hide. 
When this was used in magic shows, there were safeguards inside to prevent injury. But don't worry, I took those out. Now I'm gonna need some volunteers. Here's the fun part. You get a sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your sword through. I like to call this trick, Abracastabra. Ha uh ha. -huh. A guard. Ooh. <laughs> we got Curia and Dad. Just because you're dead doesn't mean that knife has to leave the game. You have a will on your controller right now, and you have a few seconds to leave it to someone who really deserves it. But you have to do it right now. Alright. Don't worry. The end of your life isn't the end of your participation. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Don't worry, when a player holding one of my family heirlooms dies, they can fill out a will. They left a cherished possession to you. How thoughtful. Let's try another one. What is not something that can kill you in the original video game version of Frogger? Oh wow, I haven't played Frogger in forever. Mm. I don't remember. It's been forever. <laughs> Who picked this? Oh, yes. Good luck. The rest of you who are still alive, come with me. Oh, this I is the rules game. I love the rules Follow game. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. Everyone else is playing too. If any of them correctly follow more rules than you, I will kill you. And it's already begun. The rules are on your device now. I wonder if anyone's paying attention to what I'm saying right now. Mushroom, mushroom, stinky shark, Sacramento. Almost out of rules time. Oh boy. Rules out for summer. You lose. <laughs> I've never heard it do that before either. <laughs> we played this a few I days ago and actually somebody survived case, the roulette wheel of wheel death. Now. That would be my friend Jar in this game. Never seen anyone until him survive the wheel of death or whatever. I it's found called. another will. <gasps> and now the item goes to you. I knew it! How sent it to me? I have the knife. I will find out at some point. We're here. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. Fear is the mind killer, according to my father, and which sci-fi classic? Um... Oh. <laughs> Alright, another random Who guy. Picked? This. <laughs> Nobody got it right. Everyone is wrong. So Jar and I Time are going to the killing room. Scratch I'm off. You oh no. Tickets. What a quirky last minute gift. Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. And if you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for all the extra dollar signs you find. I wonder but if anyone actually continues scratching, skull, because usually if I die. get three, I, I stop. Um, okay. Scratch away. There's one. Oh, I'm dead. We, we both died. Means. So nobody's alive. What's it gonna do? Go back in time, pick the money. What's it gonna do? Oops. Didn't mean to kill all of you. But I still need one alive player, so... <gasps> I have See, the most having money! having the most money is good for something. And I still the have the knife. Come. Oh boy. You've made it so far. 
but can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Celebrity Perfumes. Tap each answer that fits the category, and then let's see the right answers. Oh! You advance one I have no for idea, every so correct that's answer. That's a random guess. Now, for those of you who have well, not seen this game before, the, the person who is still alive right. only gets oh, two of the answers, and all the other players get, get to play three too? to choose from. If a ghost catches and if they you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. What he said. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. I know nothing about Overwatch. So. Time is almost up. I've heard of it, but I don't know anything about it. Oh god, everybody else got all of them, and I only got one. That They're gonna- has a knife! Get him! Gonna... Clouds. I have no idea. <gasps> got them right! Kanye West albums. Wow. I can't I'm, save you from ghosts. I'm just barely Don't hanging on you. here. Are Joanne you is right on my tail. Kama Sutra chapters. Time is almost up. Oh no, I'm friend. dead. Better get away fast. Joanne overtook me. She's winning. Movies based on comic books. Really? I didn't know the 300 would... Oh, just 300? Maybe it's not the 300. Here comes the next question. Candyland locations. Oh boy. A lot of lucky guesses. And curious sneaking up now. Brass instruments. Time is almost Oh boy. Popcorn. This one's close. Really close. This, this will slow you down. No one's if you want to break through that fallen barrier, off the edge you need yet. A perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Time is almost up. Oh, my goodness. Mark Twain characters. Oh, she did it. And then we have the credits that are we're going to roll. So let's read the credits real quick before we do a reboot of the game. Um, so Joanne wins. Fingers crossed this sells papers. Congratulations. And let's see, Jar didn't win big at scratch off. Dad, Abra, stabbed. <laughs> Curia, poked. How misread some stuff. <laughs> nice. So if you can hit reboot. Or play sequel. Sorry. Too late. It's okay. I just put the new code in. And we, we have a few viewers, but... Uh, why is this not letting me back in? And All right, here we go on the next round. We should have hit sequel. That's my fault. I always get those confused for some reason. I I don't know why. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Repa 
Welcome to Trivia Murder Party! Those free vacation coupons you received in the mail were a trick, luring you into a game with deadly consequences. Only one of you will survive. And me. I'll survive as well. <laughs> Humble brag. Okay, first question. How could I describe my favorite lead pipe? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you... I want to show you something. Welcome to the killing room. Pegs! You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Hmm, someone needs to pick which slots are death zones. Hey you, pick the landing slots that kill. Okay. Let the games begin. Pick a spot to drop from. I'm sure everything will work out for you. Pick a spot or I'll pick it for you. I made this board in shop class. They don't call them death zones for nothing. Surprise! You're a ghost now, but you have options. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's keep moving. So I need to restock some party supplies. What makes bile? Who picked this? One of you is still alive. Time for consequences. Welcome to Room 217. I'm going to give you a chance to password protect your life. Enter a real four-letter word with your device. Don't make it easy. If someone cracks your password, you die. Now everyone else will try to crack the password. As a team, guess the password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. If anyone figures out the password before time runs out, I will reward you all. This is a team effort, so share clues out loud with each other. You thought that would be too hard to guess? <laughs> Let's try another one. What movie features Terrence Howard and Taraji P. Henson trying to start a musical empire? Who picked this? It's time. Math! It's back, baby! Do as much math as you can before time runs out. Everyone else will be playing along. If any of them do better than you, you'll die. Let's go!
How's that math going, Matthew McConaughey? You're running out of math time. I guess needing to know math did become relevant in your life after all, huh? We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question! Which of these spooky sounding implements is a real tool? Who picked... this? Only a ghost got it wrong. Well that sucks! Let's keep moving. I hope you were a good history student. Where was Cars 2 race car Rip Klutchkonski born and raised? <laughs> Almost who picked this? Come with me! Ah, the spirit of giving! You each get $500. Give some of that money to your friend. The person with the most cash at the end will die. But there's a catch. If one of you ends up with $800 or more, I'll kill the other one instead. Begin. Time for fiscal revelations. If you're overfunded, you're safe. But if you invested in them... Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Congrats on making it here alive! But can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Vitamins! Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're on your way to escaping! But wait, there's more! If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Boat-related occupations. Let's just call that a fluke. Descriptions of the Grinch. Don't fall behind. Here comes the darkness. Stuff in Missouri. Time is almost up. That ghost can smell your life force. Born in South Africa.
Next question. Bottom row of a QWERTY keyboard. Ugh, I gotta get some harder questions. Where do you think you're going? You need a perfect answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Time is almost up. You have to get all the right answers to escape. The tables have turned. Metric system units of measurement. You won't believe this, but I just murdered a group that looked exactly like you. Weird. First question. What's the name of the musical review performed in Waiting for Guffman? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Follow me. Welcome to the killing room. Ah, the lost art of letter writing. I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write down as much of what I say as you can. The player who writes the fewest of my words will die. And the letter begins... Now. Dear Safe Haven Security Systems, What would you say is your most common password? I don't want to be unoriginal, so please tell me the series of numbers that is most likely to give me access to my neighbor's home. Time's up! Okay, now I'm just going to do a quick editorial review of your work, and here's how you did. Yikes, one of you did real bad. That's not even close to what I said. <laughs> Let's try another one. What sushi dish traditionally contains eel? Who picked this? The rest of you who are still alive, it's time. Welcome back to the killing room. It's tattoo time. Create a new tattoo on my back by drawing on your device. Harder. Oh. Yeah, harder. Ugh. 
Ah, we're in that moment where the tattooing is done, but the regret hasn't set in yet. Now vote for your favorite tat. The artist with the fewest votes will die. What did we decide? Now I can never go shirtless at the beach again. Thanks a lot. I think it's pretty clear what I have to do now. Let's keep moving. As a professional serial killer, the environment is a real concern of mine, as you might imagine. Bearing that in mind, which of my murder weapons would take the longest to naturally biodegrade? Who picked this? I want to show you something. Time to be subjected to the loser wheel. Give it a this spin. Thing twice, I am going to fall over. And I like how it's asking me to vote on Just who's like going to die, and there's right, only one totally person who's totally <laughs> You lose some, Bye you nails. lose some. You died the same way I did. That would have been funny if it said Jar Jar, because then you would have been like, you know. No? Apparently that wasn't funny. Alright. We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Well, we got a few more Next players question. to go, depending on how many die all at once. Which Sharknado movie is also titled Global Swarming? Oh my gosh, I have no idea. I'm just guessing. Random guess. I saw the first Who and the second one. This. <laughs> I didn't even know there Everyone were five other than the answer that Come was with on me. there. Assuming it was real. This decision will weigh on you. Oh, this is new. I haven't seen this one in a while. Well, I should say you haven't door. seen it, like, but once. If you all pick the same side, you all live. But if there's a split decision, I will kill everyone on the heavier side. It's human nature to find consensus. Or maybe it's the opposite. <laughs> Let's see where you all landed. Oh, no! Uh -oh. <laughs> Dad Jr. is alive. Only one of you is still alive. <laughs> Dad's you evil. Dad He's evil. <laughs> Glad to see you're the one to make That's it here alive. Hilarious. But will you be the one to escape? Okay. We're in the final round of this category. one. Founding members of NATO. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Time is almost up. Let's see. Let's see the right answers. Hmm. I wouldn't have known the answer to that question. WWE wrestlers. Time is almost up. Shakespeare quotes. I don't, I don't know. Yikes, there's a g-g-g-ghost right behind you! <laughs> Figure skating jumps! Hmm, you're better than I thought. Uh 
Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Uh-oh. Well, it's only we darkness. We gotta get moved forward more. We're all gonna fall into the darkness. Chicken breeds. What the heck do I know about chicken breeds? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> mm, you stole some yummy life force. Uh-oh. Sesame Street residents. Time is almost up. Oh, I wasn't sure about Guy. I couldn't Another remember. Another life force swap. Movies directed by women. Alright, let's see. Getting close. Wow, I don't know who's gonna win. Programming languages. James Patterson novels. I knew I should have done that. I still got ahead. The help. darkness approaches. Wow. Uh-uh-uh, not so fast. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to Hi, this question. Kate. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Time is almost up. I lost the first how many games? I finally won. Yay. Opinion. Maybe murder not so bad. How old elevator of death fell a long way in a metal box. Stolen life force. Wheelie bad luck. And low WPM. Wow. That's funny. Who has the sequel? Let's do one more. One more. Hey, it's Trivia Murder Party! You know, usually I try to track down past players and their descendants for this game, but just to mix it up, I've abducted you. How lucky, right? First question. Okay. Who's the singer of It Ain't Me? Use your device to answer the question. I don't know that song. I know all those singers, but I don't know that song. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Wow. The rest Good of job, you, guys. Time for consequences. Welcome to the killing room. It's the mind meld. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. All right, we've got and a if anyone piece. matches you, you die. And I do mean anyone. Oh gosh, I don't do well with this one. I always end up matching with somebody, I feel like. All right. N not, not Joanne. You have to name a chess piece. Time's almost up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, One no. of you didn't answer. That's a real jerk move. Aww. Anyway, moving Not Joanne on. is now not. You should have picked a less Wow! To stay alive. Oh my god! <laughs> That's awesome! We 
all open. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was great. It was horrible, but it was great. Let's try another one. Which book is written by my homeboy, Cormac McCarthy? Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. I have no Who idea. This. Nope. Oh, not Joanne. Good job. The rest of you who are still alive, it's time. I've heard of that. I just would have had no idea who wrote it. Ooh, Quiplash. Why don't we just relax and play the game Quiplash? Not Jar and not how. The game will send a funny writing prompt to your devices. Enter the best answer you can think of and hit send. I like Quiplash. Quip Quiplash is a fun game to play all on its own. You should have plenty of time to write something funny You're supposed or to, to Google something funny and then plagiarize it. Yeah, you're supposed to take whatever they tell you and write a prompt that is... Okay, yeah. let's see what gags and goofs you guys came up with. We just vote on it. How to be a hotshot farmer. All right, everyone else, vote for the answer you like the best. The player who wrote the answer with the few... Okay, let's see what people think. <laughs> Losing happened. <laughs> Ooh, electrified. I'm starting to second guess the whole put the word not in front of your name and pretend you're a different person joke. I'm not sure if it makes sense. Oh well, you gotta try things out sometimes. Let's keep moving. What's the longest above water mountain range? Alright, let's see. Who picked this? Yes. Money. I want to show you something want to show you something it's my old favorite chalices i've given oh each safe player a poison pellet pick a chalice to drop your poison in now it's your turn to play pick a chalice ah goes down smooth now let's see what you drink. Your loss. The poison was dark cherry flavored. <laughs> wow, good job. Lucky. We're here. The final round is close. The final round. Next question. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, what are mushrooms? Uh, 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 this. Oh, good. Come with me. Well, because vegetarians use it as a meat substitute with some kinds, I think. Like, they do... Portobello burgers and stuff. With the big All mirror. right. Remember, oh, hey, look, no capital the letters, my aunt no cursive. Is writing on this mirror. Pay attention to her unique handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word, but so will all the safe players. Draw a word on the mirror to camouflage Aunt Mildred's. Go ahead and start writing. Watch closely. One of these new words will be a word written by Aunt Mildred's ghost. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote or you die.
With the real Aunt Mildred, please stand up. Nice. Oh, you got it. Good job. I'm not sure who I'm most disappointed in, but I think it's my dead aunt. How got it right? Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. You know what that means. <laughs> Congrats on making it here alive. But can you escape? Here's your first category. Has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Time is almost. Let's see the right answers. Okay. Gymnastics moves. Oh gosh. Time is almost up. Like what? I've never heard of that. I don't know if you can outrun those ghosts. Beyonce albums. Time is almost up. Moving on. Monogamous animals. Seriously? Time is almost up. I have no clue. Wow, that one sucked for me. I didn't get one Don't right. Don't fall behind. <laughs> Here comes the darkness. Fortnite skins. Oh gosh, I have no idea. Oh man, we're so close to the darkness. Aesop's Fables. Really? I don't remember that at all. Getting pretty close to the exit. Part of Alexander the Great's empire. Time is almost up. Oh God! The darkness approaches. I'm <laughs> Tomato so varieties. The end is near, but in a good way. <laughs> Not oh so fast. You need a perfect answer for your final escape. It's looking good for how. And that includes the third answer choice now too. Time is almost up. You have to get all the right answers to escape. Next question. I'm in there for another round. Hogwarts teachers. Uh, I don't either, but I picked one just in case. You're not going anywhere. A ghost stole your life force. Oh, Jar stole it. Geometric angles. I have a feeling Jar is going to win. <gasps> Another one. No. Lifestyle. Movies about time travel. I don't know. I don't even know that some of those are movies. Oh, what happens now? Oh, ho, ho, the money winner. Yes. Oh, how, oh my goodness. Okay, so let's take a look at the credits here. That's funny. Bad hotel reviews surge. Jar could have been funnier. Trixie totally mine. Totally mine. Can't read either. If 
Stolen life force. Mine totally melted. Had mind meld. We all had mind meld, apparently. Alright. So, we're going to... Exit. <laughs> and we're going to go back. Oops. Um. If I hit the right button... We'll be good. I hit the wrong one the last time. So, you wanted to play... The joke boat? Alright. Alright. I have only played this once, and it was a long time ago. Um, I'm going to look at the settings really quick. Because it seems to me that the sound effects are very loud. Is that just me? Just me? Alright. I will go with everybody else says. Um, turning off the audience. Um... We're not a family-friendly channel here, so if you are worried about inappropriateness of any kind that might come up in a game like this, this is probably not the game to watch for the next little bit and maybe come back in like 10 minutes or so. I don't know how long this game takes, so. All right. The rest of us, however, are going to go for it. So we're going to have a new code. I don't have a blocker, so I have the audience turned off. Welcome um, aboard. I'm right. Chuck Hull, the ship's captain and MC. Grab your dummy and sign in. Oh. Yeah. All right. And somebody's going to have everybody Let's in. Let's move it, people. So when we have all the people missing, Grandma. Hey. There we go. Now you can press everybody's on. Oh, okay. So Jar is gonna set this particular game out. Let it play the instructions. Here's tonight's because... itinerary. We're gonna write some jokes and then test them out on stage. But first things first, it's brainstorming time. Before we jump into the jokes, let's do a little writing exercise to get inspired. On your device, you'll be prompted to write various topics like animals, people, or objects. Fill in whatever you think has a lot of comedic potential. If another player uses one of your topics in a winning joke, you'll get some bonus points. Generate as many as you can. You have 45 seconds, starting now. Okay. That is not what I type. Oh, sorry, I'm having problems with this. You've got time for one or two more. Oh, no. Your noggin is moving at full steam. It's time to write some comedy. Follow the steps on your device to construct two jokes. <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen. Complete the jokes on your device. Okay, now I can't read what's on my screen because I don't want anyone else to know.
Oh, come on. We're at the halfway point. Stuck? Then hit the joke for me button. Okay. Because there's only two. So I, it's not giving me any more, so I guess I got it. Made my mama's famous hot tub stew recipe. Captain Chuck. All right. We welcome each and every one of you to the show. Unless you're a dolphin, this world is not yours. Go back to your own realm. Now let's start the show. Remember to say your catchphrase. I don't remember what my catchphrase is. My doctor said I have a bad case of the porpoises because I swim too much in the ocean. But um, Where's the waffle? I'll read them for you or you can let it read it for you. Probably let her let them read it or the computer read it. <laughs> Vote for your favorite joke now. All right, so those of us who participated can't vote. Everybody else votes. Of course that one. The Astro's always win. <laughs> Let's keep things going for the next comic. All right, Hal, you're up. You can read it or let it go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one's hard. So just pick, let it read it for me. With the mic situation. I'm a Srab Trot. Wally Lay Hoodoo Panu Ho. Get a jealous. Let us know which joke you liked the most. And some credit to you. You know him, you love him, it's this person. Okay. <laughs> Get a jealousy. Oh, here's mine. All right, I'll read my joke. I don't even know. How many cats does it take to change a light bulb? Three. One to screw it in, and two to ignore the stupid one. Where's the waffle? Kitties for the win. And a tip of the hat to you. <laughs> Folks, put your hand and hook together for our All next right, comedian. Let's see what Curia has. Steve Rackerson, I got. Here am I, hot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who ordered empathy? <laughs> Why did the dildo cross the road? It had somewhere to get into. <laughs> mm, education much? <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh. <laughs> and how about some points 
for you as well. Oh my gosh, that was great. Here's another comedian, whether you like it or not. <laughs> whether you like it or not. <laughs> Not your dad's tragedy. I'm Curia, you're back up again. <laughs> Who ordered empathy? Set up. Oh my goodness. It's been a while Let's see who our like rising stars are. Funny. Dad. If you're currently losing, might I suggest writing funnier jokes? Just something to think about. Just something to think about. <laughs> it's the C minus. Round two. So this is only the second time I think I've ever played this game. Batten this down the funny. hatches. Time for some more joke writing. Oh boy. There are, oh, I just looked up in time to start reading it and then it went away before I got to read the rest of it. Move on to your second joke soon. <laughs> Must be high tide because we are reaching the height of hilarity. Let's height bring of our hilarity. Back to the stage. Oh boy, here's me. Oh boy. Here I go. I'm the one streaming it, so I guess I'll read it. I'm so dumb, I thought hummingbirds were SUVs. <laughs> Where's the waffle? Which joke was funnier? Vote now. Oh, if I could vote, I would vote for for Curious answer because that was pretty good. His joke was pretty good. I got kicked off the boat! <laughs> Make some noise for our next comic! Oh my comic. gosh! I mean, it's not incorrect! Oh boy, I'm scared. <laughs> Not your dad's tragedy. 
<laughs> Which comedian won that face-off? Oh, God. They were both pretty, really funny, I think. I, I thought they were. Clearly, All we're right, lacking let's hear it for the, the next joke performer. department. <laughs> All right. The Adila to us. How? Get a jealousy. <laughs> Oh, my favorite. <laughs> Okay, up next. <laughs> Who ordered up a thing? Be a dem tie, be a be a sack. I'm a zeki alarm. Okay, waiting for everyone to vote. Seven. Curious, doing dad are doing really well in this, I think. Ahoy! It's our next comic! Have you heard about the floppy desk challenge? That's where you lie on the ground and do nothing, then spin. Where's the waffle? Couldn't think of an answer. Dead wins. Nice. Assist. I had a hard time coming up with one for that. I have to say. Who is currently winning comedy? Let's see. I was gonna say it has to be Dad. If you're at the top, that means you're Look, the I'm losing. Right I'm now. sucking at this game. <laughs> Oh no, the boat looks like it's gonna break down. Oh no. Oh no! We hit a dock and we're well, sinking. We're sinking again. There's no time to write <laughs> we're jokes sinking from again. So, here's the plan. <laughs> Remind Let's me not to go on this boat again. Joke. You'll use the same setup, but we'll attempt to write a funnier punchline. The better the original joke did, the more points you'll earn for beating it. Can you steal the spotlight before the boat sinks? Let's find out.
I didn't like most of the passengers on this ship. Clean slate now. Captain Chuck. I think we might try push the button after this. We'll see. That'll get us out of the danger territory. Letting it don't really sink in it. Alright. We got 25 seconds to rewrite another comic stroke, and everybody's in Stardy. Please, everyone, remain calm. And welcome our comics back to the stage! Yay! <laughs> Which version do you like best? Oh, this is a hard one. Up. Oh, my goodness. Vote for your favorite punchline. I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> oh my gosh, I actually got some points. Shocked. And how? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh. I like that one. That was that was good how. That was good. <laughs> we unlocked an achievement on Joke Boat. The Giant Slayer or something like that. Alright. Hi, one equal Srab Jimer Dem Squad. Ali Sahal Wal Mal Ali Han. Good job. <laughs> and I can't vote on that one because I wrote the other one, so. Good one, Joanne! Points! This one is like the TV show. Everything is made up, but the points do matter. Only one of you can Oh get no! By a landslide. Wow. Holy cow. Good job, Kyria. <laughs> Alright, I think one round with that one was good. Let's let's that one was kinda rough. Let's let's it was fun. But um where's my Welcome no, aboard? That's not I'm it. Chuck all right, back. All right, so we've got uh, role models.
Everybody's somebody, so who are you? The plan or the flake, the sassy one? Step into the lab and find out. I've not played that one, but I heard you need to know the people well, so that might be interesting for us to try. Dictionarium it says humans have been inventing words and phrases for centuries. Now it's your turn to contribute an entry to the pages. Okay, they don't like vocabulary. Push the button is sort of like a strange version of Among Us. It's so do you want to try push the button, folks? Well, let's do this, and then we'll go to role models, and then that'll probably be it for right now. Let's let's see how we feel. So we're going to let it play whoever has the thing once we get in and with the code. Uh, let it play the directions so everyone can hear. And then you'll kind of figure it out as you go along. Oh, I forgot to make sure the audience was turned off. And uh, whoever has everybody's in, once everybody is in... Jar, are you coming in? Okay. Yep. Uh, that's what I thought it was when I first saw it pop up. There you guys are. Okay, so whoever has everybody's in, let it play the instructions. So there's our little people walking onto the space shuttle. Hopefully we don't crash and die. Alright, so... Pay Sorry attention. to interrupt your cryo sleep, but I thought it worth mentioning that I, your digital officer during emergencies, or Dottie, have detected an alien biorhythm on this ship. And just as I suspected, the aliens uploaded a virus, which is slowly deleting my program. I'm here to guide you through if you'd like. Confirm tutorials. I'm now there initiating security protocol Lipstick Servo Bunyan, which is a series of tests designed to evaluate your humanity and reveal any aliens hiding amongst you. I have determined that two of you are secretly aliens. Please look at your device and confirm your identity. Your device can tell you if you're a human or an alien, but not the identities of your fellow players. Unfortunately, aliens will know who their compatriots are, so you'll be at a bit of a disadvantage, humans. By my calculations, you will have 15 minutes before I cease to be, so I'd appreciate it if you could figure out who the aliens are, and then push the button. You will be our first captain. Alright, Jar. I have repurposed the ship's quarters into unique testing areas. You can be impressed now. Choose an available room and your desired participants. It's... It tells you in the bottom right who's the captain. There it goes. Fun fact, I found a big rat in the opinion hold. Oh god, he said fun fact, or she said fun fact. Don't say fun fact anymore. Alright, Curia. And me! So Kiri and I are up against each other. Oh, three! Okay. And Dad. Hurry up, Captain. If you don't make a selection, you will forfeit your turn. Do you have to hit, like, a submit button? I don't, I don't remember. There it goes. Welcome to the Opinion Hold, a place to hang out and let your opinions fly. Each participant will be presented with a bold statement. You will then provide your level of agreement or disagreement. Aliens, however, will be given a completely different statement. When the crew sees the full opinion, aliens may have to justify an outlandish position. Let's see what these players have to say. If they're an alien, their answer might be pretty out there.
and the prompt for humans was... Shoplifting is a victimless crime. And how did the subjects respond? Do any of these answers seem suspicious? Look for someone answering out of character, or just start yelling at each other. Talk to each other and find the truth. But remember, two among you are aliens and will be lying. So basically, you click on the one that you think is the lie, or is the alien, I mean. Yeah, but you have to vote for somebody, so I don't think... It does. I don't think it gives you a skip option. Hey everyone, if a player seems to be taking way too long to move on, you can tap the hurry up button to speed up the timer. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. What the heck? Okay, yeah. Oh no, the hit the button, it goes to the vote thing. Alright, here we go. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. What? So, okay, oh yeah. Let's get a move on. Pick another room and test group. There's less okay, than 13 so... minutes. No, it's me. Or dad, I'm sorry. Welcome to the writing pod. You will be given a fill in the blank prompt. Answer honestly because it will be scrutinized. The alien virus will allow the intruders to get something similar but not quite right. When the correct prompt is revealed, it will be up to you to determine if any seem odd. As time winds down, I'll do my best to send the aliens some real stinkers. It's the least I can do. Hmm? Good old Dottie. Is it really? I'm sorry. Alright, so what they didn't say is when you think you know who the aliens are, Here you can hit the button prompt. and that'll send you into like a very relaxing sound is a vote, kind of like are you right or wrong and Anything what happens. Odd? Look for any written answer that doesn't seem quite right. And don't forget to hit that suspicion button. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. I don't know, I turned it and it went back. Just turned it sideways and turned it back and it was fine. Alright. So does that every... Somebody didn't vote. I know, but... Uh-oh. It seems I've underestimated the alien virus's capabilities. Okay. Aliens now have the ability to hack the prompts. When looking at their probe screen, an alien can select any human and secretly give them the alien prompt. To make things worse, aliens can help other aliens by secretly giving them a human prompt. I hope you got all of that because there's no way I'm repeating it. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. So how you're up. Kyria. Not yet. Kyria and Jar. Small confession, I have no idea where we're going. <laughs> Welcome to the drawing quarters. You'll be given a prompt to draw. 
Draw it the best you can because the alien virus will give our intruders a similar yet different prompt. When the drawings are revealed, cast suspicion on any you find to be a bit off. As time goes on, I'll do my best to send the aliens harder prompts. You're welcome. If they're taking too long to draw, the hurry up button can help pick up the pace. Okay, mine's in. We're just waiting on Jar and Kyria, I think. Nope, Kyria's done. We're waiting on Jar. I'm sorry. And the prompt for I humans was draw a shared appetizer. Let's obsess. Keep in mind someone may have gotten a bad prompt, or they could just be a terrible artist. And don't forget about those alien hacks. A smart alien can make someone look suspicious by flipping their prompts. Hmm. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Yes, so it looks like we have salsa, a chips and salsa, and a waffle. And people at a table sharing an appetizer. Okay, time's up. Look at your device. You can now push the button and take right. us to the extraction room. But I would recommend you only do this once you're confident in your suspicion. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Alright. So... I'm really starting to hate glitching. Time's almost up, Captain. All right, now pick two pe or two or three people, whatever it tells you. So just click on each one. Welcome to the deliberation deck. Humans will be given a difficult decision and must choose which answer seems appropriate to them. Aliens will see no dilemma and must choose their answers blindly. When the crew sees the full statement, aliens may have to justify their random selection or face suspicion. Let's see what these players choose. If they're an alien, I bet it's peculiar. I don't know about you, but that clock stresses me out. Uh, make a decision already. Oh, 
Here's the prompt humans should have received. You need to pick a restaurant for your wedding rehearsal dinner and all but three are booked. You choose the one known for... What do we think? Now you have to decide who's an alien or just makes terrible life decisions. We're on the clock here, people, so let's keep it going. Is the glitching getting worse? I feel like it's getting worse. The bioscanner is now online. If the team you send there passes a test, you'll be able to analyze any player and find out if they're an alien. Okay, next captain, you're in charge. Maybe I'm getting loopy, but I think I just saw the green... This is the Bioscanner. Unfortunately, the virus has got this place pretty screwed up. Participants will see a set of alien glyphs on their device. The captain will only see three glyphs and must describe them out loud. When three glyphs are tapped, the captain can lock in. If the glyphs match, the test will pass. The captain will then be able to learn one player's secret identity. But watch out, aliens may fail by tapping the wrong glyph on purpose. Captain, I'm sending you the correct glyphs now. Okay. So the first glyph almost looks like a cursive T. It kind of goes from the left and swoops up to the right a little bit. And then back down and to the left. That's the the first side of it. The second side has a dot on the top with a line going down like an eye and off of the eye is a line going to the right. Okay, the second glyph, it, the basic shape almost looks like the body of a man. It's a stick with the legs that look like they're running with no head. Um, on the right side of the man's body, there's a dot. And on the left side of the man's body, there are two horizontal lines poking out to the left. Okay. On the third glyph, um, this one's a little harder to describe. It almost, um, hmm. It starts at the top with two circles that have lines that kind of swoop in towards the middle. And those lines are connected to what almost would look like a mustache. So it almost looks like eyeballs with a nose and a mustache that are all like one big connected line that curves at the top. And then underneath where the nose the slash mustache is, is, is a mouth that looks like a diamond with the bottom missing. Any repeats needed? Which one? The whole thing. All right, well, we're gonna run out of time, so I'll try. Um, the first one looks like there's two parts. There's a left side and a right side. The left side looks sort of like a capital T. It swoops from the left up towards the right, then kind of down and a little scoop to the left. The next side of that same one has a dot on the top with what looks like it's almost like an eye and there's a little line that 
goes horizontally off to the right. The middle one almost looks like a stick figure man sort of that's running to the right. No head. The dot is on the right of the body and two horizontal lines. You ran out of time? Turns out procrastination was the real monster. Oh no! You guys won! You killed us! Look at you're doing a happy dance because you murdered everybody! Well, I was trying to help Grandma because I figured Grandma was struggling. Alright, that one didn't work out so well, so we're going to get out of that one. Um, escape. Hello. Why is that button... Uh... I'm sorry. Alright, back. Exit, yes. Alright. So, do we want to continue playing this box, or do we want to go to the one with devils and the details and other games? Or do you want to try role models? Alright, let's do one round of role models, that won't be done. Alright, folks, last game. Don't forget, we gotta put the code back in. And let me just make sure that... Settings, audience is off, play. All right, H -O -C -H. You must be the guinea pigs I ordered. Sign in with the room code and make sure to snap a selfie or draw yourself for our records. I have never played this game before, so I'm telling you I have no idea we have to let the instructions play. Then just draw. I've heard about this game from my friend Kate, but I've never actually played it. Alright, um. Who has everybody's in and is everybody in? Yes, everybody's in. <laughs> like <laughs> I like yours. <laughs> yours is funny. Alright. Welcome to Roll Good Models. luck, guys. If you have, have any no questions idea about our says. process, you're not alone. Here at the lab, we've spent years searching for the genetic magic that makes each and every human a truly unique individual. But that was hard, so we found a shortcut. We theorize every friend group has some version of the smart one, the popular one, the troubled loner who I can change. You get the idea. And these roles make it a lot easier to figure people out. Bacon With lover? Science, you guys are going to match your fellow test subjects to the roles that fit them best. My lovely assistant will put all the data into the tubes, and at the end, we'll crunch the numbers and tell each of you who you really are. Ready to judge your friends based on pure logical merit? Great, let's go. I need a category to get us started. Vote for your favorite, but try to make it something everybody knows a little bit about. You know, hot liquids and medicine cabinet items, probably. Two, one. And we're okay, what do we get? Which hot liquid are you? So, um. on your device, you've got the names of your fellow lab rats. Drag each one to the role you think fits them best. That includes yourself. Oh, and you'll see a little 99% sign next to each roll. Tap that to lock in the answer you're 99% certain will match what everyone else picks. I'll make it worth your while if you're right, so make sure to pick someone. When everyone's given out their roles, we'll check out the results. Okay. This is odd. 
to see what happens. I have no idea what is about to happen right now. Let's find out who you are. I don't either. I don't know. Let's look at those votes. Get rid of the outliers. There's our winner. Yeah. I like to reward my lab rats for positive behavior. So I'll give you guys these nutritious science pellets. Whenever your answers match the group. Whoever has the most at the end is my lab rat of the month. Plus, they're delicious. Okay. Subjects who already have a role can't get this one, so we'll take out these votes. Seems pretty accurate so far. Hmm, I'd feel better about this role if we had more data. Time for an experiment. You're nice and comfy and soothing. You're super. Which characteristic fits which subject? Don't be shy. If you've got an opinion, speak up. Even if you're not sure you want the role, I'm handing out science pellets to the winner. So do your best. It's an experiment, man. You think the frog always wants to get dissected? Based on those results, I know exactly what role to give you. In science, we call that a shutout. <laughs> behavior with some science pellets. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> it's funny. All right, we've got our lineup. And here's how you're doing on science pellets. Remember, you get pellets when your answers match the group or you perform the best in a tiebreaker experiment. Keep that in mind if you want to beat your fellow guinea pigs. Wow. Good job, Dad. Jar. Give me another category. All right. Road trip. All right, let's see what we get on this one. This is interesting. What do you do when you're on a road trip? Don't overthink this. And don't forget to tap that 99% that oh you're most sure about. I could see a couple people for some of them. Most of them are pretty clear, but there's a couple that it was like, eh. Yeah, but who else drives? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's uh, For some of them, there's a let's couple. Let's see that data. All right, let's see. I navigate. Calculating. Yep. We all knew that. I'm the planner. Dad. Yippee. How? You that was the really other choice. Yourself, or at least what your friends think of you. Because if he's not driving and he is, he sleeps. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Step on it. <laughs> oh my goodness. These subjects are tied. Let's fix that. Oh boy. Write your answer on your device. Your fellow lab rats will decide whether you get the role. Oh boy, what's the best car game? Okay. Come on. Mm, screen. 
Oh, so you two have to compete and what the best That's what they came up with. Vote on your devices now. Okay, I didn't Yeah, I did too. All right, so this is You're not wrong. It was just <laughs> Just as I hypothesized. <laughs> but it you get the wrong Half of us thought the same pellets. thing you did, though, at first. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, now I understand what my friend said about this game, that you need to know the you people you're playing with. From yourself. You know what? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm the one that voted for that one. I was like, I need to be. <laughs> <laughs> there There's our lineup. Oh, and you? Wow. You are scary good at this. Do you want a job? <laughs> oh, Jar's flattered, but probably okay. says no. You've each got some rolls under your belt. Let's see what the data tells us. I can tell from your rolls, you two are complete opposites. <laughs> from a very specific point of view, anyway. Science will be an experiment to see which of you is better for science. When Beyonce asks why you're interviewing to be her next executive assistant, what do you say? I want both of you to write an answer that fits the trait above your head. The rest of you will decide who wins. Oh my. This is funny, actually. I know Savannah is not getting a kick out of this. How? But I think it's really funny. When you're awake, you work hard. <laughs> you have to be awake to do it, though. <laughs> There it is. Vote on your devices now. Wow, no contest there. <laughs> you two. Your roles tell me you share a common characteristic. I can't stand not knowing who's oh. better. You just broke a large jar of pickles at the grocery store. What do you do? Answer the prompt on your devices and we'll settle this once and for all. That's the raw data. Vote on your devices now. I don't see how to do that either. So. Yeah, I'd call that pretty conclusive. But you wouldn't want to talk to anybody. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pick your final category. Ice cream flavors. If you were a flavor of ice cream, which one would you be? Let the truth telling begin. Okay, we'll see how this one goes. Let's see who's who. Ah, uh, how refreshing. Do you like the Girl Scout cookies like that? 
You seem tough, but you're full of marshmallows. There's something for everybody. I've got just the thing to break this tie. Vote on your devices now. The subject with the most votes gets the roll. We were all thinking the same thing on that one. Points! Can you at least coat yourself in rainbow sprinkles? <laughs> Uh-oh. Hmm, looks like your peers weren't feeling any of these roles for you. I've got a backup role that might fit you better. Uh-oh. Everyone vote on which Ew. role fits our neglected subject the best. Neither. Oh, yuck. Sorry, I'm picking Tutti Fruity Jar because licorice is nasty. You really earned this. But you got more points and you have a lot of points. Here's how it all shook out. Jar's still in the lead by a lot. One last thing before the experiment ends. Let's see if there are any more interesting patterns in those rolls. Your rolls tell me that you're polar opposites. At least in this one extremely specific way. We're gonna pit you against each other and see who wins. You discover a Nailed it. that can broadcast a <laughs> message to every person on Earth. What do you say? Oh God! You answer on your device. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> it is like an ad spread in post. Oh my goodness, this is funny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jared is the calm, easygoing one. You're the one who starts yelling and hollering and getting all perturbed about things. Yeah. For sure. There you go. Use your head, Vote fellow your idiots. Now. <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. <laughs> But she was also being aggressive. Which is I the feel so trait. Much better now. Oh my, I like the little. That's it. The experiment's complete. Here come your final rolls as determined by everything your fellow lab rats said about you. Okay. Let's see what happens. Energetic, creative, wannabe worker. Man Vulgar, melodic, classic. Calming, cool, breath of fresh air. Very dependable, classy sidekick. Barely parental, extremely lazy rebel. Yep. And my favorite little lab rat with the most total science pellets is... Barely sweet, rustic, goofball. Winner. Aww, Jarwa! That's so awesome. I thought that was fun. You want to do it again? No. All right. Hang on. All right. Hang on a minute then. All right. Hang on. All right, guys. Well, I don't know about everybody else, and but we had a lot of fun uh, trying out some new games, and especially playing Murder Trivia Party. That is always uh, a favorite around here. So, um, just two last things before I go. As always, um, as it says in the chat, I'm working trying to reach affiliate. I am at 43 followers. I need seven more to make affiliate. 
um, and every follow is going to help me towards that. So if you've been watching, you've enjoyed this game or the other games I've been streaming, please hit that button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. And also I have a link to my Discord in the chat and in my profile. And I would love to see you there to talk about games and all kinds of other fun things. So thanks again. Have a great night and see you next time.